And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid the coups and the crises, there are many positive stories from Africa that often get overlooked, but not on this show. Forty years ago, HIV was identified as the cause of AIDS, and it has been 36 years since the first HIV vaccine trial, but the world still does not have a working vaccine. Now, scientists in Uganda are partnering with the United States to develop an HIV vaccine. Reports say research into the production of the vaccine has already begun. If successful, this could be a ray of hope for millions across Africa. Our next report gets you the details. Because when Africa succeeds, the United States succeeds. Quite frankly, the whole world succeeds as well. The United States of America's relations with countries across Africa go back decades. What began as an attempt to nurture and promote anti-communist ideas among the African elites during the Cold War has today shaped up into a strategy to prevent conflict and promote peace and stability in an extremely fragile region. The resource-rich continent has also long been a locale for the United States and Russia to act out their global fight for dominance. America's partnerships in Africa extend to various fields, including diplomacy, development, security and defense. In East Africa, the United States and Uganda have partnered to fight a deadly enemy, human immunodeficiency virus or the HIV. Reports say the U.S.'s Walter Reed Army Institute of Research has teamed up with Ugandan scientists to develop an HIV vaccine. The vaccine uses mRNA vaccine technology that came out during the COVID-19 vaccine development. According to reports, research into the production of the new vaccine, called RapidVax, has already begun. Researchers propose that the body can more effectively fight off infection because of RapidVax's frequent immune system stimulation. Scientists are currently studying the safety of the vaccine candidate, which is in phase one. They're hopeful it will soon enter the second phase. Last year, the first trial in Africa of two combination vaccines to prevent HIV, which began in December 2020, was halted after researchers concluded it was not working. The vaccine was tested on over 1,500 people aged between 18 and 40 in Uganda, Tanzania and South Africa. Previous trials in South Africa to test the only vaccine that had shown any success in protection against HIV, the RV144, which was developed in Thailand, was stopped in February 2020 after interim results found it was not working. About 39 million people worldwide are living with HIV. More than 23 million, or 69 percent, are in sub-Saharan Africa. It has been 40 years since HIV was identified as the cause of AIDS and 36 years since the first HIV vaccine trial. But the world still doesn't have a working vaccine. So the latest partnership between the US and Uganda comes as a major step forward in efforts to prevent the spread of HIV in Africa and as a ray of hope for millions across the world. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison Lagrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. South Africa goes to the polls on the 29th of May. I will track the election and bring you ground reports. Is it the end of the road for the African National Congress? And will former President Jacob Zuma stage a dramatic comeback? From elections to climate change, to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post. <laughs>